start. Stay tuned, everybody, if you want to see Tom take a nap <laughs> and me do a video. <laughs> Well, today uh, I'm continuing the collaborations with Simple Diversion, and they sent me a note and some cigars. I was going to read this note to you guys, and then we'll get going. It reads, collaboration time continued. Hello, Pete. Thank you so much for the cigars that you sent to Rob and myself. We thoroughly enjoyed them, and I even bought a Perdomo Vintage today to keep in the old humidor. That boy. Enclosed are two Pablo Martin Corojo cigars. The guy that blends these cigars works at our local B&M, Metro Cigars. Unfortunately, I do not have a lot of info on the guy or the cigars, as I myself do not know a whole lot about them. They are a medium to full body cigar. I've had the Connecticut, and it wasn't bad, but it was while golfing, so I cannot say that I gave it my full attention. You may like these, you may not, but I thought it would be cool for you to try them. I also felt inclined to throw in a couple of APAD cigars. They're from Foundry, and I believe they are discontinued. They're one of my favorite cigars and not very well known. Give these a try and let me know what you think. I sent two of each cigar, one for you and one for Tom. <laughs> Thanks again for all the support and positive feedback. It's guys like you that make YouTube a fun and enjoyable community. I hope one day I can get to Ohio and maybe share a stogie with you and do a real life collaboration. Enjoy, and as always, we'll see you soon. Graham. Thank Come on you. Up. <laughs> Thank you, Graham and Rob, and I do wish the same Thank also. You. We are going to do the Pablo Martin cigars and give those a try. What are you going to smoke? Oh. <laughs> I don't know. There's. This is empty. <laughs> If you guys have not been over to Simple Diversion, it is a great channel. They do cigars, they do whiskey, they do scotch, and their reviews are very, very good. I think they do a very honest review on things. Um, and so even if it is your favorite cigar or your favorite scotch or favorite anything, they're going to tell you as it is, which I can definitely respect in a reviewer. And I can't do scotch anymore, so it's really <laughs> sad. Um, I can do Irish, but no, no, I can't do, no, I had to give that stuff up. The uh, other reason sad. that all of you need to get over to their channel is they are approaching the 100 subscriber mark. And when they get there, they have promised that they are going to do a big giveaway. And so get on, comment, subscribe to their page, and let's see them at 100 subscribers here in the next week. And I think they're only about eight or nine away, even, maybe even less than that as we speak. I don't know. So get on, check it out. First impressions of the Pablo Martin. Citrus hay is what I'm gonna say. I'm smelling. It smells great. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> and then the dry draw for me, I'm getting rum. Maybe caramel. It's kind of a sweet uh, dry draw. Kind of smells like grass, but you did just cut your grass, so it's hard to say. But <laughs> I, I, it, I like the smell. Well, cheers, boys. Here's to you guys. Hope you reach 100 in less than a week, and we can see you there. And let's check these things out. Coming up, I'm very excited in the near future. Uh, Tom and I, in the next couple of days, hopefully, will be reviewing uh, OJ Cepeda sent me some true Cuban cigars. I'm going to give him a little shout out and uh, smoke the Cubans. It's going to actually be my first Cuban. Tom's already had a Cuban. I have not, so I'm super pumped to try those. Actually, my first cigar was a real Cohiba. Was it? I had a buddy who was a, well, he's a millionaire, and he was able to, he bought a box, and he said he paid 50 bucks a piece. This was 20-some uh, years ago, but um, I've been looking for having that same kind of smoke. Uh, ever since, I remember getting a little buzz from it. It was, uh, I bet. man, it was sweet. Um, oh well. Man, first impression on this, I'm really digging it. It's a very, uh, for me, it's on definitely on the medium side. I know he said medium full, but for me, I love extremely rich flavors. I have some very full flavored cigars, so for me, this is about a medium. It is a... Very nice retrohale, actually. Very smooth. No bite to it, really. You almost can just eat the smoke. Very, uh, I almost wanted to swallow it. It's so good. Getting kind of like a 
warm bread or a toasted almond. I'm, Maybe nuttiness. My taste buds must be kicking back in because I, I'm getting a little bit of that also. Maybe a little leather lingering here and there. But I, this is, for me, has a combination of a lot of different flavors in it. It might have a little bit of pepper in it also. But nothing sticks out too much, and I love cigars like that that just have a nice, well-rounded body to them. Yeah. It's not kicking my butt, and uh, I appreciate that too. <laughs> Definitely would be a good um, any day smoke, golf course smoke, um, newbie smoke. I think a newbie could take one of these on. It's not too punchy in your face, I don't think. And I got a golf tomorrow. It's, um, I have, <laughs> I'm a substitute right now while I'm getting my uh, body repaired, if you will. <laughs> and uh, it's 80% chance of rain all day, so. <laughs> Good luck. Yeah, thanks. I'm trying to figure out a way out of it, but. Uh, Golf is golf. I love golf, so what can you say? So I just want to say once again, congratulations to you, Graham and Rob, for making such a successful channel. I really enjoy getting on and viewing your material. Uh, you guys mesh well together on film. He has a phone call. <laughs> it's about substituting tomorrow. Let's listen in, shall we? Kip, how you doing? Did you just butt dial me? Hello? Hello? <laughs> Hello? Okay. So you're seven for him tomorrow? Uh, yes. Okay, uh, well, I'll put you down. He never called me or emailed it. I haven't checked all my messages. But... Yeah, you'll sub for Craig. All right, I still got to get one more. Okay. You're a 10 handicap, so you and Craig are equal. <laughs> I'm on live TV right now, so just... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I don't want people knowing I'm a 10 handicap. It's out of, okay. I like to say it's out of 18 holes, but it's <laughs> nine holes. <laughs> I quit. Okay. Well, thank you. Alrighty. It's been a pleasure, all that stuff. Got to go. And I'll all see right. you tomorrow. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. I'm going to turn the sound off. But like I was saying, uh, Graham and Robbie, you guys do a wonderful job. Your reviews are second to none. I don't think anybody really quite does it like you guys. You guys mesh well on camera. Um, and I think you give everything that you review a good and honest chance, whether you like it or don't like it. That's part of being a reviewer, whether you hate what you're doing and you don't personally like the taste, um, you still should do it for your audience so they know a good representation of that product. And I think you guys nail it right on the head. And that's why, and that's why you guys are growing so, so big, so fast is because people see that and they want to use your reviews. And I grew big really fast, but that's beside the point. We're talking about the two of you actually as videographers. Yes. Yes. Well, and I'm wearing all black because as Jim Gaffigan says, wearing black is easier than working out. So that's my uh, my motto. And this is just a cool shirt. This thing, I am, I'm digging this cigar, Graham and Rob. This is really good. Thank you for these. Mine has a really cool kind of split ash going on. I don't mind it. I, a lot of people, I, they, they'll think, oh, he's going to get mad at you and you know, he's going to hate his cigar. Honestly, I don't care. I I could have a cigar that's falling apart as long as I have some good tasting smoke at one point or another. I'm easy to please when it comes to these. Is yours burning good? Your wife said you're just easy, but uh, yeah. I'll um, let her know that. Yeah, no, this is this is burning fine. I haven't had to touch it up yet. This really has a really cool for me and like an almondy nutty note to it, on like a warm bread, like I said at the beginning. The, uh, maybe even like a little bit of citrus I'm almost tasting, which is really abnormal. I'm, it doesn't really do that with many cigars. There's kind of like a slight citrusy hint that's in the background with like the warm bread and the almond that I'm getting. But all in all, it's very, very good cigar. I just retrohaled, just to prove that I can retrohale. <laughs> but I What'd still think? don't, I, I can't, mm. I can't tell yet. I'm work, it's a new thing for me. Um, he finally forced me to do it. And, uh, <laughs> I had him watch my video and I had him doing exercises. But no, this one is very, very delightful to retrohale. It's uh, you want to just swallow it and eat it. It's uh, it's that. It's just that way. Not many cigars you can say that about. Mm. This is really good. Mm -hmm. Wonder who Pablo is. <laughs> Man, I can't pinpoint the other flavor that's in here. 
Do you get in a weird flavor that's kind of in the background that is it's different? different than anything I've had. I don't know what it is, but I really like it. So over here to our, well, it'll be your right on camera, our left, is my garden. I've been watering the tobacco seeds I just planted, and today I actually stopped out at Lowe's and got a little... Uh, very real small like uh, it's the they have little peat cubes that you soak in water and they get big and you can put seeds in them And they grow and then you transplant those into the ground I'm going to sterilize all that with boiling water And then I'm going to plant the rest of my tobacco seeds in there and see what I get because if these don't work I'm putting those in the garden Really that's why we're able to have uh, somebody said it was the uh, supposed to be the the, the, uh, of those. Um, No the uh, those things that's what they call. No, 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 no. They they got rid of one of those things. Um... Coming in hot. We had a couple of trees in our backyard. One was in his yard. One was in mine. They were ash trees that the emerald ash borer killed and um, as a thank you for having this young guy do all the lifting of the heavy stuff um, I got him a uh, what was it the drone 1926 1926 80th anniversary I've had the 60 1964 anniversary but I've not had the 1926 it is on my bucket list of cigars to have I am so pumped <laughs> <laughs> And uh, I look forward to hearing what you think of it. That's a friend. A friend that gives someone a 1926. That is a cool gift. And somebody who lifts several tons of logs into a truck and gets rid of them. <laughs> that is a better friend. <laughs> <laughs> Small price to pay. Hey, I'm happy to do it. Well, an update on these great sticks. The Pablo Martin from Graham and Rob at Simple Diversion. Uh, these things have ramped up in spice a little bit. I'm noticing we're getting down to the band here in a little while. It's a they, nice white ash. Yep, very nice white ash. Um, there's a little bit of a spice component that's added in now too. Not very harsh at all, but a nice little transition for me. Um, but the other flavors still remain. The bread, warm bread and almond. Um, maybe a little bit of pepper, but not much and then just the spice. So it's an all around really cool cigar. Love it guys. You don't think that since we cut those ash trees down that the emerald dash borer is looking for a new home and it might come for our ash? It might come for our ash. Or a woman might come for your ash. You never know. I'm still waiting. Maybe there's a woman out there that's watching you through YouTube that will message me and I can pass the message along. Call 555. <laughs> <laughs> My address is... Thank you very much, Rob and Graham, or Graham and Rob, whichever way you want to go with that, but uh, thank you. I Gra appreciate that. Graham and Rob, Rob and Graham. I wonder which way it officially is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, enough of that. <laughs> Show the camera that ash. Holy cow. Mine did not turn out that way, but that is amazing. It scared the crap out of me. Well, guys, we're going to wrap this video up. This has been Pete and Tom with For Pete's Sake Have a Cigar reviewing the Pablo Martin for Graham and Rob at Simple Diversion. Thank you guys so much, yeah. and we look forward to seeing you all very, very soon. It's truly been a pleasure. I hope you have a good one. We'll see you.